In this video, we're going to be opening three rocks, one of which contains an ichthyosaur rib, the other two potentially contain ammonites. We're also going to be doing a guess the fossil, where I'll show you several photos, see if you can work out what it is, before showing you the fossil itself in a video. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get started and open the rocks. Got three nodules, two with ammonites in them, and one with a partial ichthyosaur rib. So let's crack them open. Nice and prioritised. Yep. First this one's one. open perfectly. Let's go on to the next one. Yeah. Let's hope this one also opens just as well. You see the ammonite edge just there? Yep. Oh. Oh, another one. Perfect. Another nice split. Yeah. And now for the ichthyosaur rib. Yeah. There we go. Something a little bit different. Yeah. Jurassic ichthyosaur rib. Let us know in the comments how old you think it is. Well, good work. Very nice, pleased with them. Yeah. So that was three really good openings. Next up, we're going to guess the fossil. I'll show you the photos. This is the first one. Might be quite easy to guess at first, or might be quite difficult, I'm not entirely sure. We'll have a little look and see if you can start to work out what it might be. Lots of very fine, intricate details on this one. Should be a few more clues coming up. Got any ideas yet? The next photo I'm going to show will hopefully give a bit more of a clue. If you look at the bottom of the photo, you can see a lot of individual little sharp looking things. You might be able to notice in this photo here more of the little sharp things, which are all little teeth of an upper and a lower jaw. This is a pretty unusual object. Pretty sure it's a coprolite, so fossilised faeces or fossilised stomach contents, we're not entirely sure. Here's a close-up of those teeth. So what this fossil is, essentially, is a big, very well-preserved and well-prepared fossilized fish. I'm not entirely sure on the species just yet. It's quite often difficult to tell what species they are, but I can certainly find out for a future video. This is a fish that we found and that my dad prepared very recently. You can see there the upper and the lower jaw. As with a lot of the fossil fish, they're almost entirely destroyed by the time you find them, if you're lucky enough to find one. They're very, very fragile, and the sea usually will just rip them apart or erode them away very quickly. To have all of these details still preserved, 
and not eroded. It was pretty. It was a miracle, really. See all of the bony plates of the skull. It's also got a really nice fin preserved with it, which I'll show you in a moment as well. There's probably one of the best fins of this fish. There's also lots of ribs. These were in the photos I showed you initially. And our little vertebrae as well from the spine. part of a hind fin as well. Now this is by far one of our favourite fish fossils, mainly because of how big and complete it is. I also showed that other fish very recently, which is equally one of our favourites, although not as complete of course. If you'll remember, the teeth are quite worn on this one, whereas the fish from this video teeth are a lot more 3D because they weren't worn away at that point. A couple of really interesting, similar but different finds. Needless to say, finding a fossil fish is very unusual. Definitely find less than one a year, maybe just you know one every few years really. They're very, very difficult to come across, at least round here. Got a big slab covered in fossilised belemnites. One here, one there, another nice one right there. Perfect. Looks very good to me. That bellum night slab with the fossil squid-like creatures is the last fossil from this video. Just got some lovely scenery shots here, which I hope you'll enjoy. If you'd like some ammonites to crack open yourself at home, as with all my videos, just drop my brother a message on his Instagram page, or alternatively message me or him directly at our main Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils. Sadly, the fossil fish aren't for sale. We always keep our favourite specimens in our collection. However, we do have plenty of others which are available. I'll leave you now to enjoy the rest of this last minute or so of scenery. And I will see you in the next video.